And when you began to put these steps into place, you began to eliminate that fear because I realized in my own life, the times I've, be, I've been most fearful have been the times that I have not prepared. Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today I want to come at you with another Monday motivation. That's right. That's right. Everybody, I know everything that's been going on the past few weeks. I, I know there's been a lot of um, fear. I know there's been a lot of challenges, and I was at Sam's just on Friday, and I know that there's a lot of shortages, like on toilet tissue and paper towel and all that other stuff. Y'all, people were going so crazy because I went to Sam's Friday morning as soon as they opened. I rushed in, and those of you who may or may not know or may or not follow uh, my wife and I, in, I, my wife and I's Instagram page, if I said that right, and it's at Together We Jones on Instagram. But I do this thing called Supermarket Sweep to where we go in the grocery stores and then I try to get the items as fast as I can and then get out because I don't like being – uh, I don't like being in the store that long because I don't think it's necessary. Anyway, I went in, got all the items in Sam's because, you know, how Sam's, everything's spaced out. Everything's really far. So I did that and I got all the items probably within like 20 minutes, if that. And then I got in the line. Y'all, the line was from the checkout counters all the way back into the aisles. I'm talking about people were lined up and everybody was going crazy. Okay. From the water to the toilet paper to the toilet tissue, Sam's like, uh, 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 uh. Y'all are only getting two cases of water each. That's it. Y'all can't, y'all, y'all can't, you know, get any more than that because other people are spazzing, just like when they did for the Y two K, uh, just like they did with the uh, what was it, the SARS and all the other stuff. So today, this message here. This message here today is fear can't be trusted. I don't remember where I heard that from. I think my wife and I were watching something on TV or we we're reading a devotional, but it said fear cannot be trusted. I, I want I want everybody to listen to me very closely. Right now, people are fearful to travel, in which that could be a good choice because you know, traveling, you're interacting with a lot of people, you're exchanging different fluid, different air, stuff like that. So that could be fair. But in this instance, don't allow your fear to keep you from doing what you know you should be doing anyway. I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs that follow me, a lot of young professionals, but understanding that fear cannot be trusted. My entrepreneurs that work from the house, my entrepreneurs that, you know, that are always on the go or are solopreneurs, <clears throat> or even if you're somebody who is working a job, but then on the side, you've been trying to you know, get your speaking business going. You've been trying to get other things going. You've said you wanted to start writing a blog and, and you've wanted to do all these other things, whatever that it is for you. Fill in the blank for you to make it apply for you personally. <clears throat> I want to ask you now, if you're at home, what is the excuse for you not to invest into that idea? What is the excuse for you not to spend more time pursuing that passion, that focus? Because even if you have a nine to five job and now they have you working from home or working remotely, you still have a little bit more time now to invest 30 minutes, to invest an hour, to invest 45 minutes a day into that particular project. Because we had a game night the other night and I got a little passionate and, and, and my wife said it turned into a lecture series. Because the, the thing that I hate is seeing people not operate within their purpose or not operate within their gift because they're living comfortably. And I say that because I've been guilty of it sometimes. And that's why I'm saying this on this podcast, because I want y'all to hold me accountable. If you don't see me grinding, you don't see me producing. then I want you to say, John, wh what have you done this week? John, what are you working on this week? 
because I want you all, just like myself, to continue to work, to continue to put ourselves out there, to continue to push the envelope until we're uncomfortable because we know that by us being uncomfortable, it will force us to level up. Okay, let's go tangible. Let's go tangible. I want to ask you to just get a piece of paper, right? Get a piece of paper and then just begin to list out three activities that you can do towards your passion project or towards your idea or concept. The first one you can do is you can do a little bit of research, right? That's one thing I've been doing with speaking. Like I do research. I watch YouTube videos. I, I read articles to learn more about how I can create a more effective and more engaging presentation. So that's number one. Number two would be find other people who are doing what you desire to do. For instance, I've reached out to some speakers that I may or may not know via LinkedIn. I've reached out to some speakers via DM on Instagram to just sit and talk with them and hear more about what it is they're doing, why are they so passionate about what they're doing, and what are some tangible tactical strategies that they've applied, right? So that's number two. And then the last one I just want to just plant in your spirit is get the experience. That's go out and just do it. If you say you want to speak, and once again, I'm saying that because I just feel like people that listen to this podcast are people who are pursuing speaking or are people who are pursuing whatever else that might be. Um, whatever it is, I want you to just get the experience by doing it. Like Shout out to Nike. Just do it, okay? Because you can do the research, and then you can find other people who are doing what you desire to do. But if you never do the third step and you never apply the action – then you can't really see any results. So I would encourage you, do an Instagram Live, do a YouTube Live, a Facebook Live, whatever it might be. Just put yourself in a place to where you're doing what you've researched, you're doing what you've aspired, uh, you're doing what you have reached out to others that you aspire to be like. Now you're putting yourself in the driver's seat. And then as you begin to move forward doing You'll start to get past that uncomfortability stage. You'll start to realize, oh, I can do this differently. Oh, well, maybe I can try going live on two platforms. Oh, well, maybe I can take the video that was live and then cut it up and then ultimately use that video to post on my Instagram feed or on my Twitter page or whatever that might be. And when you begin to put these steps into place, you begin to eliminate that fear because I realized in my own life, the times I've, be, I've been most fearful have been the times that I have not prepared. I'm going to say that one more time just for anybody else who's listening. Come on, lights and wall. The times that I've been most fearful in my life have been the times where I failed to prepare or the times where I didn't put in the preparation that I needed to in order to effectively execute the goal at hand. Friends, this is the Monday motivation. This is the quote of the week. You can't trust your fear. Fear is unreliable. You cannot trust your fear. So I want you all just to make sure that you do this for me. You subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jonathan J Speaks. And then even outside of that, go go to the website, JonathanJonesSpeaks.com and and be sure to get on get on the email list. Cause I like to send out emails about once once a week, maybe a couple of months. Uh, but just to make sure that you're inspired, to make sure that you're encouraged, and to make sure that we we grow together. All right, my friends, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way? Oh, 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 o